This is NDTV. And you're watching NDTV 24-7. Welcome to this very, very interesting episode of Out of England. I'm here in Nottingham, central London, and um, this is called Nama Artisan Raw Foods. This is a lovely, tiny little place, very well lit in Nottingham, very close to the Portobello Market. Um, just such a fun place. And why I'm here is because this is one of the very few cafes, if I may call yours a cafe, in London, which serves this cult drink, which has suddenly become just that much more popular. All of us as Indians during our uh, years of flu, during our days of flu and fever and all of that, have drunk it as haldi dood. But today, it is turmeric latte. Here in Nama Foods, it's called the golden latte, right? Golden, golden milk. milk. Yep. Golden, golden milk, milk latte. latte. Yep. Welcome to Out of England, Neelam. Thank you. And Neelam, uh, she's going to be making this for us. And I, do I get a cup of uh, golden latte? Why not? Okay, lovely. So my turn to have this, but then we're going to quickly see how popular this drink, golden latte, is and how it's made here in London at this particular cafe. Can you help us? Yeah. So, first of all, you've got some cold pressed turmeric. Okay, cold yep. pressed turmeric. Yep. And this is completely organic. Yep. Okay, that's very valuable, by the way. Very, very valuable. Cold pressed turmeric, okay. So, then we put about a tablespoon. Mm -hmm. That's about so. You lift that up. Yeah. Not that much. Perfect, okay. You don't need too much. Um, then we would put some pepper in. Black okay. pepper. Pepper. Black pepper helps you absorb the turmeric better. Okay. So that's why we use that. Then we'd get our drug. Black pepper helps you absorb turmeric better. Yeah. Okay. Then we've got the What milk is this? Because this is a completely vegan uh, store we are at. What milk is this? Coconut. Okay. Coconut milk. Coconut milk, pepper, cold pressed, organic turmeric. What? This just makes me feel good already. And then better. So then we've got the coconut oil. Coconut oil? Yeah. So okay. coconut oil again helps you absorb the turmeric better. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah. Okay. And then we heat that up. Coconut oil, coconut milk, pepper, cold pressed turmeric. Well my haldi dood as a child has always been haldi, pepper of course, um, in normal milk but well, I can already tell this is just a luxury place, full of good health. So, there oh, we go. Lovely. Can we lift that up a bit? That's your mm. That truly is golden. Absolutely. And then so, why is it golden latte? Because some people has, have, have named it turmeric latte. Why is it golden milk latte? Because of the colour. It's The colour is beautiful and golden. Looks like the sun. Looks like the so, sun. So, yeah. Oh. So, Which um, we so miss here. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. absolutely. Are, you, are you from India? Are you from India? My parents are. You are? Um, I'm born and born, born here. So you're second generation? Second here. generation, yep, Indian. Okay, okay. So. Lovely. so have you had haldi do with yourself? Yes, we used to have this. My mum used to make this. Okay. Um, and and how have people taken to this drink here? Do they, do they like it? Do they find it bitter? Are they curious no. about it? Um, the way it's made, I mean, it, dep it does depend entirely on how it's made. If you do put too much turmeric, it can be too bitter yes. and it's not that enjoyable as mum used to make it for me sometimes. Um, but if you have the right amount of all the ingredients, it's absolutely gorgeous. Maple syrup. Maple syrup, okay, yeah. that's new. So that's just out of sweetness. Okay, so you, you, one usually does honey perhaps on top? Yes, you can use honey, yeah, right. but because this is vegan. You're vegan rates, here. Okay. Yeah, so we don't have honey, we've got maple syrup, and okay. then we just put. And I'm going to raise that a little bit, almost like raising a toast to good health perhaps. And then we're going to sprinkle our lovely cinnamon on top cinnamon yeah okay so that's cinnamon on top maple syrup which is optional i presume yes do you like it with or without uh, i i like it without without but i think syrup. it's not too bitter for you no you yeah. used to wait no. okay but it's okay. nice with it. so my question again are people curious uh, do they come back for it how, how are people taking to this well we have regular customers that have it every day we have a, a lovely lady actually that lives next door mm -hmm. upstairs mm -hmm. French lady, they come, she has it every morning. They come back for it. They're quite surprised by it. They don't, because they're not entirely, 
somebody obviously turmeric isn't something that people know well. Yes. Um, then to try it in a drink with milk, it could be quite confusing to the brain. Yes. But actually, every time I've given it to someone, they've loved it. They've loved, loved it. it. Yeah. They've loved it. Genuinely. Okay. I have been reading a lot of um, reports, survey reports, which say London, of course, which lives on coffee. London really lives on coffee. But there is a shift in trend where people are realizing that it's important to stop to take a healthy drink instead of a hot chocolate or um, a cappuccino. Perhaps important to add that zing of good health. I'm going to say cheers yeah. to, to, good, to good health and uh, to Ayurveda and let's see how this goes. Enjoy. Flavorful, very warm indeed and something that's so needed in London and reminds me of home. home. <laughs> London and Londoners are always in a hurry, right? It's almost like you, 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 you're watching a movie in a fast-forward motion yeah. where everyone's just running to get a train and, and sometimes you just either stop eating, forget to eat, or when you do, uh, most of them forget to watch what they eat. But here where I am at Nama Foods, this is a lovely little tiny cafe which serves a lot of healthy stuff. So this is organic completely. We are in a vegan place, is that right? Correct, yeah. Okay, and with me is the co-founder, Richard. Are you from Europe? Are you from here? Where are you from, I'm, I'm uh, born in London. Born yeah, in I, London. I've, got a, I've got some mixed roots, um, some Israeli roots, some kind of Ukrainian roots as well, okay. as well as English. So a bit of a diverse mix in my background. That, that truly explains. Yeah. Now, that's truly London to be diverse. Yeah, exactly. And that explains why the menu here has all sorts of things, including a lot of um, items which caught my eye, which includes the golden latte, which is, of course, turmeric latte. There's chai, which is chai latte. And that's my cup of golden latte, a cup of good health. But I'm going to ask you, how are you planning to bring in more Ayurveda if there is a plan into your kitchen to make sure you spread this word and what are those things that you're curious to bring from let's say the Indian kitchen like turmeric is something that seems to be a big hit here already. I mean I think we, we always like to experiment with different ingredients. Yes. Um, I mean recently for example we created a, uh, a Tom Kha soup and we use lots of nice fragrant herbs and spices like lemongrass, galangal, uh, of course ginger which we use in a lot of dishes, uh, kaffir, lime leaves as well. So they have the most so fragrant and fresh beautiful flavours but also really reputed for their health benefits. Yes. Um, I think as time goes on we, we, you know, we become more experimental with the ingredients we use. We've, uh, you know, we're, we're working on a new menu, we have a lot of dishes where we create um, you know, we've been we've been using less and less nuts and more and more vegetables. So um, that kind of uh, encourages us to use like lots of exotic um, ingredients as well. Um, so we, I mean, we're always trying to push ourselves and find you know flavour combinations and herbs and spices, which which taste great together, but also have these health benefits as well. Um, you know, so using cold press oils, um, different kinds of oils that we use. You know, using various nuts and seeds that come from yeah. the subcontinent, the yeah. beautiful spices like cumin, cardamom, um, coriander, we use a lot as well. Um, so there, there is a kind of um, an idea behind nutritionally balancing dishes. I mean, yes. We're not nutritionists ourselves, we're chefs, but um, we do try and follow some, you know, some guidelines when it comes to making you know, healthy combinations and hopefully that's reflected in the kind of dishes and, dishes and the kind of health benefits that and, people and the taste, of that people okay, get. So you mentioned cumin, coriander, yeah. turmeric, of course, which I am having. Um, all of these are these lovely Indian uh, ingredients, which are so great to taste and to be had in a very balanced form. However, my question is this: Are you doing well? Are you how busy are you in a day? Given there are so many of those McDonald's and the KFCs, and people are on the go. Um, so do people re really remember to stop and eat something that's worth it and healthy? But, um, you have a busy day, do you? Yes, sometimes it's very busy. Uh, the, um, the Saturday and Sunday mm -hmm. after Portobello Market, uh, all the people come very Everybody come here, but it's very happy to wait, for example, just, um, 30 minutes or 40 minutes for have a table. And when they take a seat, they are very enthusiastic when they started to eat the our food. Right. They make a lot of compliment to the chef. Uh, to the for them, it's a very a big surprise. Yeah. To, and to they're find. curious to eat. 
Yeah. Try to the, the, Tell the, me when they, yes. yes. Sorry, they ask a, a lot of questions about, for example, the cheese board, the, 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 the factory of the cheese, uh, or they are very surprised, for example, in the dinner menu, about uh, their cannelloni with colchat zucchini, with um, lasagna, yeah. because usually it's uh, made with pasta, yes. but uh, for, for them it's very surprising to find, uh, uh, replace the pasta with the courgette. Yeah. And part of it is, it's so, not so the carbs are out of your plate, the calories are out of your plate, mm. but the taste is just that much more wonderful. Um, when they look at your golden latte, yes. how curious are they? What do, what do they? How do they react to it and do they come back for it? For them, uh, usually the, the funny question is uh, they ask if there is a caffeine inside or coffee because usually the latte yes. is make it with coffee and, yes. uh, and milk. But uh, um, normally w when they ask and I explain uh, the, the, different, the list of the ingredients, they want immediately to try the golden latte. It's most popular actually. Yeah, it's sure, most popular. sure it is. And this one tastes what, three pounds or four pounds? Yes, uh, it's four, this one is four pounds, right. yeah. So, four, so that's four pounds, that's a very large glass indeed. Um, of, I would say, like I said, a, a large glass of, of good health. Um, I know that a lot of people are very conscious today, given there are things like depression, there's, there's a high rate of cancer here. So what would your message be to Londoners, given you're trying to bring in ingredients from traditional kitchens, not just Indian, but of course other places as well. What would your message be to Londoners at a time when we really, all of us are really really unaware of the, of the many things that we eat including so many of it which involves a lot of chemicals well I think I think that's it I think that the the incidence of health problems uh, disease and allergies are on the rise you know they're, they're coming epidemic proportions almost yeah. um, and you know I think because there's such a prevalence of processed food um, food that's grown with chemicals and um, that, that you know all, all manner of uh, nasties being added into things so I would say you know try as much as possible to keep it simple to prepare your own food to know exactly what ingredients you, you're using yeah. so that you kind of avoid um, you know all these processed foods with chemicals yeah. um, try and source your food well I hope this little conversation inspires you. It surely has inspired me. Um, and I know that there is a friend of mine uh, who, of course, uh, came here from India many, many years ago, at least 30, 40 years ago. And he tells me that every single night, his dinner, he doesn't have food because he wants to uh, have dinner like a beggar, but breakfast like a king. Um, so he says for dinner, it's only haldi dood, which is turmeric latte, because he says that's his way to prevent or um, fight cancer. Um, so I truly hope that you are very inspired. I am, like I said, so no cheese pasta for me tonight. Although it is very simple to make, no cheese pasta for me. I'll try and go to the farmer's market, which is Portobello, which is just right here where I am, Notting Hill in central London. Thank you very much. Write your feedback. Indian curry is in London very popular and known to be this oily, greasy, but absolutely yummy and delicious. However, now it seems the trend is that all of those ingredients which go into an Indian curry are going into the salads to make it that much more that much more tasty and healthy. Radhika Ayer signing off. Your feedback comes to us through your emails to oe at ndtv.com.